We're under our fifth caution. You saw it on side by side. A very frustrated and angry Marco Andretti, and we believe the man he is angry at is that man right there, Eddie Cheever. Let's take you back and show you what happened. Remember, all the lead cars have actually been passed. Whoa! That is a big put off. All the lead cars have actually just gone past Eddie Cheever previously, and Marco Andretti running is so much faster than Eddie Cheever. Eddie starts to come over, which is a normal line, but you got to know that Marco's behind you because you would have seen him coming up in the mirrors. Well, it looked like he goes around the slower traffic of Sarah Fisher. Jack, what's going on? Well, oh, no, another crash, and it's upside down. We've got a car upside down. It's Marco Andretti. Two cars at least involved in this. Buddy Rice as well. Buddy was taken out last year in a crash okay? with Elio. This year, a crash with Marco. And Marco, you okay? Caution as we take another look at it. A lot of cars in the back, everybody weaving back and forth. And there you can see Marco Andretti went from being on the right-hand side of the track for us and started to move across and ended up starting to catch some wheels, probably with Buddy Rice, Rusty. And that was enough to actually start the chain reaction for the cars crashing. Well, Scott, I want to see this replay again because it looks like he got across the front. In the pit lane, being repaired. Now, here we go now. He's cutting across, just touches Dan Weldon's car that's on the right-hand side, breaks Dan Weldon's left front suspension. Dan Weldon goes off to the left-hand side. And here comes Ryan hunter Ray. They found the opening under... Oh, no! Crash! Hard contact between Ryan hunter Ray and Marco Andretti. Everybody else makes it through. But a tough end here with now five laps to go for those two drivers. And there is Scott Dixon, and I'm not sure they're going to be able to get this cleaned up in five laps. Marco starting to come out now, take another look. As everybody's starting to move around, you see Andretti just starting to want to protect his position just a little bit, and then Ryan hunter Ray gets those left, rear, or left set of wheels down on the white line, the hinge point between the flat and the banking, and then the car just starts to walk itself up and drives himself into Marco and then both of them go off towards the wall. Just that little bit of a flick on that back end of the car. Remember, we're at 210 to plus 15 miles an hour average speed around here. These guys uh, are not that quick enough to be able to catch it when it does something like that. We said at the very... into the first chicane, Dario Franchitti will have the advantage as they go there in a mess here in the back. Dixon gets spun around. Oh, oh. one in the air. Wow. That That's Mario Marias in the air. And he's over Marco Andretti. Wow. Well, we knew they were funneling down into a first gear left-right complex, but boy. Yeah, so that happened under braking. As first came look, in. the first few rows get through fine, and then just look to the left of the screen, I believe. Watch the KV car. There it is, Sato. Sure enough, just came in, and that started the mid-pack pileup, but then later, kind of the chain reaction. That is Marias catching wheels with Marco was just trying to get out of the incident as well as Marias going by, and it looked like, yeah, there's spectacular footage. Yeah, so Marias lost it on the brakes going in. And I think that's the same thing that set off Sato. When you pointed out Sato there, he was hard under the brakes, and the rear just came around. Watch that. There he is with the orange nose under braking. So he just has a little bit of rear bias, and that spun the car out. And again, in too quick for the freight train, that is. That's like being on the highway and something happens when you have two lanes going to one. Everybody yeah. checks. Try 4 1. We have contact and a huge crash right in the first corner. The car's upside down. Elio Castro Nevis involved. Scott Dixon is involved. The 27 by Conway. And I cannot tell who that is. That's. Oh, it's Marco Andretti. Well, as you can see at the start already, they're not really as 
closely lined up as they should be, but a lot of movement in the back section there as it is. Marco just gets himself in too strong. The back end starts to come around. Remember, the tires are cold. There is no temperature. The low pressures are there. You don't have the grip with the car as you would if you ended up running the car for a couple of laps. There again, look on the inside. Marco Andretti is now starting to dive down the inside. He's on the paint from the runway. There is no grip on that paint. And you can see what happens. Everybody else starts to just go around him, trying to avoid it. And it just ends up with carnage with all cars. Whoa, what the heck? Oh, that's not good. That's Marco. He went in hard. And this will bring out a full course caution. Absolutely. Wow. And that was. Andretti has spun the RC Cola car. Can he fire it up? He's asking for help, I think. So Yeah, well, I know, but you can water. see by his hands, like, hey, I need a push, and yep. then he's throwing his hands up frustrated. But don't forget, we're still under green flag conditions. It's a lap. Obviously, yeah. that's not going to happen. That's why he's so anxious. And here is Luca Filippi oh, up the inside, and Newgarden got into the back of him. Yeah. Yeah. And we are probably going to see that. You've got him going for it on the outside. Light on the brakes. Kanan forces his way through. And he gets in. Oh, oh, boy. And then he really gets in. Sato gets in. Sato gets into Marco Andretti. Dixon gets through, but there's Tony Kanan. Big front damage along with Marco Andretti. Inside is the yellow and black glad car of Tony Kanan just narrowly touches him. I mean, Tony Kanon's all the way up over to the grass and the curb. Newgarden may or may not know that he's there, but you have to expect, if you're Newgarden and you've faded to the outside, that somebody's probably trying we'll to kill him down. Him. So look at Newgarden pops out here and then tries to tuck back in. So Kanon expected that Newgarden was going to rim shot the corner and Newgarden changed his mind. So, you know, that's just a, that's a case. I think you'll find it short order that Sage would want to get back to the leader. Oh, oh crash is another crash. There. Who is it? This time it's Marco Andretti. Yellow, yellow, yellow behind you. These yellows, these guys are getting so, so aggressive that late in the season. Everybody wants to make some points. Everybody wants to get a position. On was below the yellow line, and he was just on the outside and just lost it. Yeah. Oof. There have been some tough licks over the last couple of days. Charlie Kimball kicking it off. Watch the yellow and blue Snapple entry. Something just yeah, got loose so there. Yeah, it did a wiggle even in the straight line before he even lost it. Like almost like something might have broken. Yeah, that was that looked very unusual. But catch up. I felt confident in our car, and you know that's that's what we were doing. We were playing the catch up game. Um, but then we, we had some sort of fueling issue where the the car was losing power and. Just not getting fuel, so not sure what it is yet. Hopefully we can get back out and run some more laps. Okay, let's get quickly upstairs as we have a caution, Alan. A disastrous moment in turn one for Marco Andretti. Ryan hunter made the move inside Luca Filippi. When Andretti tried to follow him, Filippi closed the door. Now he stalled, and the caution is out. You see the 28. Ryan hunter Ray comes in the inside, and Marco tries to follow through, maybe a little bit too optimistic to be able to take advantage of it and follow his teammate through. Ends up getting that front clipped and ends up having the car swing around on him. Now the car is still running now and he gets the thing spun back around going in the right direction but the second... He had no chance. They were pretty spread out as they go side by side. Pagano making a move. Oh, 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 turn one. Hard Dang contact crash. into the wall. Michaela Lotion loses it down low. Marco oh, Andretti they're piling into him. Several cars taken out. Marco Andretti. The guy who made the move on the start was uh, J.R. Oh, Hildebrand, but Sebastian Bourdais. Bourdais here, big hit in the side pod. Drivers this year in aggressive driving, and he just, it just got away from him. Cold tires, slick track. Hunter Ray barely got around that, barely snuck by. There were four wide behind him, and there's still guys coming in here that piled oh. in. Oh, yeah, big that was hit Graham there. Rahal trying to sneak through the middle of Max Chilton and the wrecking cars of uh, Lotion Andretti. and Marco Andretti. Here's a great shot from up above. Yeah, he's got Dixon right on his hip there. And he, it just came out from under him. So close for Rainhall, almost getting through. And got tagged by McHale and 
sent him up. Passion having trouble in the back. Guys are bailing through the chicane. Where will they come out? Oh, oh no! Dixon. Yeah, that's no good. Dixon's in the middle oh, of that. Car upside down. Andretti, I think. Scott Dixon is in the middle of that mess. No, it's not. It's Ed Jones. No, no Dixon, it's Dixon is. He's off to the side. Oh, no. With the ability to continue, you see several cars take the exit. Dixon's on the outside in the back there. Nowhere to go. Oh. Andretti went right over the top of James Hinchcliffe. I want to see how this started, Paul. Yeah, I think I think Hinchcliffe Hinch lost spun. it in front of the field. He got loose coming out of that kink and lost it, and then everybody just piled right into the back of him. It's single lane. Inside his power. Oh, that's, oh, gonna, oh, that's, oh. Gonna, that's not going to work. Andretti's got around. He, what a move by Andretti. He did a complete 360. Erickson, Mateus Lace caught up in that. Look at Power and Reichel arguing with their hands. That was way over optimistic by Power. He, optimistic. he made a move down in three that was pretty sketchy. And oh, look, he gets a run right here and he just slices down the inside and he just wasn't there. Well, he, he was from way back. I'd agree with that. But the other problem is that Ray Hall was taking a look on Marco Andretti yeah. who had suffered so effectively they were three wide, Watch Marco. two and a half wide. Marco does a complete 360, boots it, brings the front end around. That was a sweet move. And the yellow's out, so effectively the field's frozen there. But he's got a youngster who wants to make his mark in this series and in this IndyCar world. They're jumping out of line. There's a collision. Rossi, uh -oh. Pagano, Marco. Andretti, Carpenter. Ask you. Oh, my goodness. Very late start, and everybody was oh. keyed up to go. It looked like a bunch of cars jumped out of line and ran into the back. Look at what happened here. We're walking, uh, watching Simon Pagano there. There's guys in the back here start jumping out real quick. Oh, oh Palo went Pato. first. Yeah, no, it was uh, Askew. Askew. Askew ran into the back of Pagano and kind of started the whole thing. He I know, but Palo kind of got the jump, Paul, jumped out of line. And Pat, there goes Palo. There goes Pagano. Now Askew comes in, in to follow and has to jump on the brakes. And so it was three cars that thought everybody was going, and it all checked up accordion.